Hey friends, it's Sarah. Today I wanted to share with you three simple things that you can do for hormone health when you hit 35 and up. Now you may be thinking, why do I care about hormones? Well, once you hit the age of 35 as a female, your body naturally begins to produce less estrogen and progesterone. This for you might feel like you have more brain fog, your energy is much lower, you may see a little bit of weight gain, you may see some unpredictable moods, maybe you have some anxiety you didn't know that you ever had before. So these are three simple things that you can do once you hit 35 to help your body function optimally and reduce the side effects that you may see from hormonal changes. Number one, I want you to make sure that you are eating enough. When I was younger, I am guilty of thinking I needed to eat 1,200 or 1,400 calories. When we eat too little, it places stress on our body. When our body experiences this type of stress, it does the opposite of what we want it to do. We want our body to be like, oh, you're eating less, I'm gonna lose weight. But in reality, your body's like, oh no, I don't know when my next meal is coming, we are starving, I am going to go into survival mode and I am not gonna lose any more fat. By making sure that you are eating enough of the right foods is gonna allow your body to experience minimal hormonal changes as you hit 35. Yes, you're gonna have to make a few more tweaks, but a lot of times when we start to gain weight, we automatically do uh, go into overdrive and restrict. I don't want you to restrict. I want you to eat enough of the right foods. I don't want you to eat too much, of course, but there's a sweet spot right there and I can help you achieve that. Stay to the end, I'll give you some tips on that. Number two, focus on strength training and not excessive cardio. Again, we have been trained to believe that once we start to gain a little bit of weight or if we feel a little sluggish, we need to kick the cardio into overdrive. If you are doing that, in addition, you're increasing your HIIT workouts, which again, places a lot of stress on the body and some stress is good. When we work out, we place stress on the body. We want to do that. We want the body to adapt, but as we get older, we are not so good at handling excessive stress. So I don't want you to go into the opposite direction and start doing cardio excessively. I want you instead to put your focus at the gym on creating lean muscle. This is achieved through strength training and making sure that you are lifting heavy enough that you are sore on occasion. I truly believe the best workout is a workout that you will actually do. So maybe your strength training is a little different than mine, but I have seen a lot of success with personal training and typical strength training like the videos that I share here on my YouTube channel. So tip number two is to focus on strength training, not cardio. Because if we eat too little and we do excessive cardio, not only we might lose weight, but we're also going to lose muscle. And as we age, our muscle um, does something called atrophy where it wanes, it reduces, but we wanna maintain that lean muscle mass because by maintaining our lean muscle mass, we will be able to keep our metabolism higher where we want it to be. We do not want our metabolism to get slower as we age. That's gonna mean that we get to eat less of the foods we love if we wanna maintain the same weight. Okay, tip number three, focus on eating enough protein. This is to ensure that when you're doing the strength training workouts, that you're able to build and maintain muscle. We want to increase the amount of muscle that you have so that we can increase that metabolism. And if you are not eating enough protein, that is gonna be really hard to do. If you're not eating enough protein and you're doing excessive cardio, like I said, you may even lose some of the lean muscle that over the years you did work hard to achieve. By focusing on these three simple things, eating enough food, not under eating, focusing on strength training and eating enough protein are going to catapult you into perimenopause, into menopause, hopefully with minimal side effects. 
We want to reduce the amount of stress on our body. And these are three simple things that you can do in addition to what you're already doing. I'm not asking you to restrict. I'm not asking you to take things away. I myself am 39 and 30% 30 of my calories currently are coming from protein sources. If you're watching this and you are ready to tackle your hormones, you want to feel like yourself again, you want to achieve successful, lasting fat loss, then click the link down below this video for more information. My next six week program is about to begin and I would love for you to join me. This round is specifically focused on those of us who are midlife. And again, I didn't even know I was midlife until recently, according to the New York Times. If you're like 38, 37, you're considered midlife, but perimenopause can start as young as like mid thirties. So if you're experiencing some wacky hormonal shifts, maybe all of a sudden you're really exhausted or you're experiencing some crazy anxiety or you're feeling more bloated, these could be the early signs of perimenopause and it's your body's way of telling you that it's producing less of the hormones that it did when you were younger that helped you feel good. And now things are changing. Don't worry, most of us can feel back to normal. Our body strives to find that point of happy homeostasis. I can help you achieve that. So make sure that you click the link below and you can also get your free hormone guide. So if you're interested to learn more about the hormones that I said, click below for your free hormone guide. Make sure you subscribe and let me know down below if you want more workout videos or more health, fitness, nutrition. I'll see you guys soon.